Good morning, guys. God bless you. Carl's here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, it is a beautiful morning. Literally, um, there's a 100% chance of rain today. So I just hope it really like storms. I think that's one of my most favorite things when there's rain in the forecast. I want to see storms. Like I want to see this pouring. But I guess I have to wait and see really what's going to happen. <laughs> but we're going to be working on this um, BMW um, customer recently. Um, got it <coughs> got it ceramic coated uh, with another uh, company. Uh, unfortunately, a uh, customer wasn't like pleased with the way uh, the vehicle turned out. And he ended up contacting me <clears throat> like probably like a month later and was just like, hey man, you know, I wanted to see if you could come and look at my car. I got it ceramic coated, <coughs> got it ceramic coated and want to see your input on it. Um, so um, that's what we did. I, I went out there and, and, and looked at his vehicle and, and wanted to see maybe I, I was thinking maybe his coating was clogged maybe or something um but long story short once i saw this paint um this paint was in my opinion not corrected it had very well not very but it had a, a lot of these micro scratches which i feel could have been removed a little bit better um <clears throat> And the, just when I hit it with water, <laughs> just to test it out, um, it didn't bead like it should have. Um, this coating that was used was not a sheeter. Um, and I just, I just ended up telling the customer, you know, like, hey, we can do this, we can do this, you know, and he was just like, I just want this to look like amazing. Um, so I gave him some options and here we are, we are working on it today. Uh, so I'm super excited just to obviously get the opportunity to get this vehicle looking a little bit better than how it is. Um, so I'm going to finish my coffee, enjoy this rain and we'll get started. So phase one is obviously going to be doing like a good strip wash, a decon wash on this paint. Um, I was still hoping that the coating was just clogged till this day. Um, and, you know, once I did that, usually after a decon, um, I always, <coughs> I like to touch the paint. And that's when I'll know, like, if it feels smooth or it feels rough. And, you know, after I did the decon, it felt very just, just rough. So, I, obviously, the clay was the next stage, and I ended up grabbing a clay and you know i started claying this vehicle to my surprise this car sounded like sandpaper um so a either the detailer um didn't fully clay the vehicle b he didn't clay the vehicle and went right into the correction um because <laughs> this thing was sounded pretty pretty rough and you guys are gonna hear in this next clip um how it sounded So after I removed, um, well, after cleaning the car, right, uh, I came back and, and washed it and used the, uh, I was, I'm using the uh, Drive Auto Appearance Bucket Naked Strip Wash Soap. <laughs> um, it's a very aggressive soap, I got to say. <laughs> so if the vehicle was coated and they claim that this coating, you know, is the best and it's very aggressive, meaning it'll take a couple hits of, you know, whether it's super clean or anything really, it should fight it off, right? After letting the strip wash soap just sit on there for a little bit, doing the clay, I came back and I rinsed it off. Um, 
when I hit it, literally, this was not beating anymore. Like, it, it was just flat. So, what happened was, in my opinion, is vehicle was corrected, right? Apply the coating, and the coating just didn't adhere to or bond to the vehicle, to the metals, to the plastics of this paint. So the coating was literally just on the top. And when you hit it with these chemicals, it was literally like off. Um, and I think this customer paid like $1,500 for this package. What? Um, so it was a lot of money. You know, and I told him, hey, why don't you just go back and talk to the detailer and, and you know, see if he can help you out. And customer was like, honestly, I'd rather not even go that route just because <laughs> through the whole process, I felt rushed. She was saying that this car was done like in like three to four hours, I think. And the turnaround time was like, all right, it's ready. So the customer was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> um, we all work differently, so I can't say that he didn't do his job. But after seeing this car, I don't think the job was done. Um, I feel more like they took his money um, and got him out. Uh, but, you know, I'm glad I get an opportunity to do things like this, to repair um, others' mistakes. And I'm not here to, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, well, bash the companies. Who was it? I bet, every, I bet everybody wants to know who it was. But at the end of the day, it's not in me to call out anybody. You know, we aren't perfect. We make mistakes. Um, is this something that maybe has happened in more vehicles? Who knows, right? But my job at the end of the day is to help the customer um, and help them with their needs. No failure. 